Hello everyone, welcome back to Shop Star Optics. Today I'm gonna introduce Mark III Actorial Mount. Mark III is a German harmonic actorial mount from Shop Star. It boasts outstanding payload capacity, faster response, and a wide range of device compatibility, suitable for observation and astrophotography. The net gross weight of the main body is 7.95 kg and the payload is 18 kg. The weight of the counterweight and counterweight bar is 5 kg. Its payload increases to 26 kg after attaching the counterweight. The tripod is 93 cm long and weighs 4.45 kg. It's 82 cm high and 98 cm wide after fully expanded. Before setting this mount, please find a patch of level ground. Take out the tripod, gently drag out the three legs. Until three leg braces move down to the lowest part of the central column. Place the tripod on the level ground. Take out the main body. Turn the azimuth adjustment knobs outwards to make a space in advance. Gently put the main body on the tripod. The central metal protrusion fits the central hollow at the bottom. The azimuth adjustment post fits the space between two knobs. Use two fixing thumb screws to fix the main body on the tripod. Connect the RA and the declination body. Be sure not to plug this cable off when the mount is working. Before using the mount, you should point your mount roughly to the north. You can ask your smartphone for help. Turn the tripod to make the dovetail saddle point to the north, and a deviation within 6 degrees is acceptable. The mount should be completely level and no obvious tilt can be noticed. There's a bubble level on the mount. Observe if the bubble stays at the center. If not, adjust three metal ferrules to level the tripod until the bubble goes back to the center. Before using this mount, you must set its altitude angle to your current latitude. For example, my current latitude is 42 degrees, so the altitude angle should also be 42 degrees. Mark III is designed with coarse and fine tuning system. If your observing sign has changed a lot, you should first coarse tune your mount. Loosen the fixing screws. Loosen two grub screws to free the coarse tune shadow. Shift the shadow to the range labeled with the correct latitude. Fix the shadow again with these two grub screws. And then go on to fine tune your mount. Rotate the fine tune screw under the costume shadow. And observe the pointer of the scale painted along the outer side of the main body. It must point to the number which equals to your current latitude. After that, tighten again the fixing screws. If your external power supply is 24 volt, use this power cable. And if your external power supply is 12 volt, use this 12 to 24 volt boost converter. Plug one end to the external power and the other to the 24 volt in port at the back of the main body. Slide the telescope with tubing and dovetail plate into the dovetail saddle. Tighten two safety screws to secure the telescope. The dovetail saddle is designed with 60 and 75 degree slots to fit different dovetail plates. Users can control the mount in different ways, and in this video, I'll show you how to control the mount with this hand controller. Take out the controller connecting cable. Plug one end to the hand controller, the other to the ST4 hand port. After this, you can turn on your mount for initial setting. Turn on the power switch. 
The red light is on and the green light is flashing. The mount is in the tracking mode. When you power up your mount, the hand controller is automatically turned on. The first initial setting is to upload your time and geographic information to the mount. It should be done every time before you use your mount. Press and hold M to bring up the main menu. Select Site in Settings. Select Latitude to set the latitude coordinate. Change the latitude coordinate with the up and down keys and press right key to confirm. And then select the longitude. Change the longitude coordinate with the up and down keys and press right key to confirm. Then set the time difference against UTC. The western hemisphere is designated as positive and the eastern as negative. And now we should set the current date and time. First, go back to the previous menu. Select date and time. Change the date with the up and down keys and press right key to confirm. And then change the time with the up and down keys and press right key to confirm. Then you have successfully uploaded your time and geographic information to your mount. It can now properly work with other Star Catalog software. After uploading the time and geographic information, check your mount if it's at the home position. If you notice any obvious deviation, use four direction keys to manually adjust the mount to its home position at home screen. Home position is an initial position where its declination axis is directly pointing down to the ground and its RA axis is directly pointing to the NCP. Select Align in the main menu. Select Reset Home and press right key to confirm. Mar3 will recognize the current position as its home position. Generally, Mar3 is defaulted to be at its home position. If your mount is at the home position, you can go on to carry out N-star alignment. The purpose of N-star alignment is telling your mount what's the direction it's pointing. Mar3 supports 9-star alignment. Select Align in the main menu and select 3-star Align. Select the first desired target with the up and down keys and the press right key to confirm. It asks Slu to star one, press right key to confirm. The mount automatically moves and points to the target you've chosen. Observe through the telescope where the target is at the center. Adjust the position with four direction keys. And press and hold M to save. Select the second desired target with the up and down keys. Finish the residual steps in a similar way. You should return your mount to its home position after install alignment. Select Go To in the main menu. Select Home and press right key to confirm. Your mount will automatically return to its preset home position. If you demand your mount to return to its home position, it will shut down its automatic tracking function. You have to manually start the tracking mode if you hope your mount keep tracking a target. Select the tracking in the main menu and select the start to turn on its tracking mode. After the install alignment, you can further improve your mount's accuracy by polar alignment you can use the built-in Refine Polar Alignment function or achieve the same purpose with a polar scope. 
select a line in the main menu and then select refine PA. It reminds you that you have to do end star alignment with at least three stars. Find a bright star and its declination coordinate should be between 50 to 80 degree. If the chosen target deviates, you have to adjust azimuth and add to the angle of Mark 3. Here we show you how to adjust its azimuth because we talked about its altitude adjustment before. Loosen two fixing screws on the platform of the tripod. Slightly adjust two azimuth adjustment knobs until the target comes to the center of the field. The right knob makes it move counterclockwise and the left clockwise. Tighten two fixing screws to fix the main body on the platform. You can repeat the above steps until the target is exactly at the center without any manual adjustment. Accurate polar alignment can also be achieved by a polar scope or ASI air computer. After the settings are finished, you can demand your mount to point your target. You can select the desired target from the built-in star catalogs, and the mount will automatically move and point to the target you've chosen. Select Go To in the main menu. Select a desired target from the star catalog with the up and down keys. Press the right key to confirm and demand your mount to go to. Mark 3 is now consistently following a chosen target at a ideal rail rate. You can choose different tracking rate according to your tracking target. In tracking of the main menu, lunar rate is used to track the moon. Solar rate is used to track the sun and the solar system planets. Sidereal rate is used to track all the other stars and objects. If you feel that the speed at which your mount automatically moves to a chosen target is slow, you can set its go-to speed. Select the settings in the main menu and configuration and go-to speed. As a rule of thumb, the go-to speed can set to the fastest if the total weight of your telescope and accessory is not more than 8 kg. And if the total weight exceeds 8, the default speed is recommended. Generally speaking, if your telescope is large and bulky, you should slower the go-to speed. If you stop using your mount after all the observations, you should return your mount to its home position. Then you can turn off your mount and detach your telescope. Note that if the power is accidentally cut off, Mark 3 will break itself to prevent your telescope falling down. You need to take off your telescope, repower up your mount, manually guide your mount with direction keys and reset its home position. When you manually guide your mount, you can set its guiding speed. Press F1 to slower the guiding speed. Press F2 to increase the guiding speed. You can also do other settings with this hand controller, like backlight setting, buzzer setting, limit setting, and the meridian flip. Mark 3 is a powerful harmonic actorial mount. It can be a great assistant when you carry out the astrophotography. We will introduce how to connect and control this mount with other devices like through Wi-Fi, USB cable and ASI air computer and show its other useful functions and practical imaging results. So keep following our channel. Thank you.